Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of MCU Trivia. I'm riding solo today. Kelsey has been very busy. Uh, it's Taylor Swift concert season, so Kelsey is, is MIA for this episode. Uh, but I'll be riding solo doing this uh, really awesome undercard match uh, for the number one contender match that's going to happen in like about a half hour or so. Uh, this undercard is very exciting because it's two rookies that we have not seen before in this league, but I'm sure if you've gone literally any other fan league out there, you've seen them play, and they know their stuff, specifically their Marvel stuff, specifically their geek stuff. So I'm very, very honored and excited to have them part of our league joining it for the first time. So I'm going to bring them right in. I'm going to bring them in. I I believe I've played in teams against these guys at some point down the road as well, um, but this is going to be a lot of fun to see them take on each other in specific Marvel trivia. So let's get right to it. Introducing first, we have Antonio Ant-Man Chavez. How's it going, Antonio? How's it going? Pretty good. I love already how you have all this formatted. I'm excited to be part of this league. And uh, so we'd be called a rookie again, but uh, right. definitely hoping to be a veteran in this league because, like I said, man, I love that we had it set up. Excited to be a part of it, especially because you're a Yankee fan. So I'm obviously already a fan of you. So That's right. yeah, man, let's get this going. Right. And his opponent, we have Devil May Cry, Ryan Payne. Ryan, how's it going? Pretty good, actually. And uh, I actually do like the whole notion of being a rookie once again. So I'm starting basic, playing like le pretty much, you know, if anyone ref understands the reference to the name, it's like I'm playing at level one once again. So I'm building myself back up. And. <laughs> And it's un and yes, we have played against each other in teams, Dylan. Although my opponent and I mean, we are no strangers to each other, <laughs> so clearly this can go either way between the two of us. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm very excited. Are, are we ready to just get to it? Let's get to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're going to start with round one, which is going to be you know your typical whiteboard round. Everyone will be asked uh, ten questions in the realm of the MCU. Players will have 15 <laughs> seconds to write down their answer, and then they will reveal their written answers and speak them aloud. Each question is a point. You get all 10 right, you get a bonus question. It has happened for the first time this season. It's happened a few times, actually. Uh, players will uh, will always keep their hands on screen at all times. You have three time heists if you want to buy more time. If you want to hear a question again, uh, we can go back in time and, and repeat that question for you. Um, and then you have a Mjolnir if you want to throw the hammer into the ring uh, and challenge a question, challenge a ruling of an answer, challenge your opponent's answer, any of the above, uh, you can throw in a challenge. And if you win your challenge, you will get to keep that until you lose a challenge, basically. That's how we will rule that. Okay. I'm going to ask you first, Ryan, are you ready? Let's do this. Awesome. And Antonio, are you ready? I'm awake and excited. Let's do it. <laughs> Great. So let's get into question one in the realm of phase one. What year saw the release of Iron Man 2? It's always interesting with these rookie matches. You never know if the questions are going to skew a little too easy, a little too difficult. So it's kind of a little mix of everything. Test the waters, if we will. All right. First question. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Ryan, what do you got? I wrote 2010. That would be correct. Antonio? I also wrote 2010. That is also correct, and we have a tie game. Perfect so far in round one after one question. Moving on to question two, naturally in the realm of phase two. In Guardians of the Galaxy. What are the two main colors of the Milano? I was going to say something, but it would have given it away. I was going to name a sports team, but that would have been <laughs> too giving, too revealing. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Antonio, what do you get? Just like my Knicks, blue and orange. That is correct. That was what I was about to say, and I had to catch myself. Ryan, what do you got? I also have blue and orange. That is correct. Net, Knicks and Mets. Um, and as we move on to question three, we're still perfect. Phase three, naturally, is question three. What are Ulysses Claw and his crew disguised as when they attempt to rob the museum of its artifacts in Black Panther? Great scene, great villains. Great movie. Uh, 
If it's a little bit more general, that's okay. We'll okay. Accept a few different answers here. And yeah. five, four, three, two, one. Ryan, what do you got? I was really I was fixed on what they're actually called. If I recall, they're they're called paramedics. Yep, that was one of the answers we were looking for. And Antonio, <laughs> ambulance workers. That that'll work. Yeah. So okay. like no, yeah, they they see me in ambulance. I would have accepted that too. <laughs> yes, they they are any sort of doctor, ambulance, emergency. Yes, right. you all got it. <laughs> As we move on to question four, it's a rookie match. We're not going to be looking for the very specifics. Um, question four. In phase four, which phase four film? Features a faceless pet creature named Morris. Great scene stealing character here. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, and we're back to Antonio. What do you got? Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. That is correct. And Ryan. Yep. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. That is correct. And we're still tied up at four apiece as we move on to question five in the realm of quotes. Co-host Kelsey's favorite question or favorite category. She will not be here, sadly, to read it, but she will hear it when she listens to this back. Quote, which guardian of the galaxy refers to Stan Lee as a, quote, class A pervert in Guardians of the Galaxy? Nice quotes question and a little Stanley cameo question. And five, four, three, two, one. Ryan, what do you got? That would be Rocket. That would be Rocket for a, another point. Antonio, what do you got? You go in volume three, Rocket Rocket. That is correct. And uh, we are tied up. Correct on both accounts. <laughs> As we move on to question six, in the realm of Avengers. This is, could be any of the four Avengers films. What is used as the handle for Thor's new Stormbreaker axe in Avengers Infinity War? Again, some of these questions are easier than others, but... Do the whole well, breath on... of Depends on people's right. interpretation. <laughs> that, that is true. And five, four, three, two, one. Antonio, what do you got? I still wish it was metal. Groot's arm. <laughs> that is correct. And Ryan. It is Groot's arm. It is Groot's arm, and we're still tied up six apiece. Brilliant first round so far. As we move on to question seven in the realm of villains. Villains. Which of the following three Iron Man villains survives their given film? Obadiah Stane, Justin Hammer, or Aldrich Killian? Which one makes it out loud? Fun little multiple choice in round one. Love it. Could have just said which Iron Man villain, but there may be multiple, so I narrowed it down to three. All right. And five, four... Three, two, one, and Ryan, what do you got? I mean, it leaves room for him to hopefully be in Armor Wars, Justin Hammer. It does, and that is correct. And Antonio? Justin Hammer. That is also correct. As we move on to question eight, we're still perfect so far in the realm of Disney+. Plus. Disney+. Plus. Here we go. Great. In WandaVision, Agatha Harkness's pet named Senior Scratchy is what type of animal? We may have had our first stumper. We may have found our first. Uh, I love this series when I first watched yeah. it. I think I did an MCU trivia match before. My opponent got the edge on me for knowing all the Disney Plus. <laughs> That'll happen. And five, four, three, two, one. Let's see if they can say perfect. Antonio. Iguana. That is incorrect. And Ryan. I said a rabbit. He keeps his perfect round alive and takes the one-point lead. Rabbit or bunny is correct. Bunny rabbit would have also been acceptable. It is a rabbit, Senior Scratchy. So that is the first miss of the day, but a super strong round one so far for both these competitors. As we move on to question nine in the realm of Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Who plays the designated Peter 2 in Spider-Man No Way Home? 
I guess this is another pseudo multiple choice question. Just knowing which one is the correct answer. I'll give you a hint. He's on this shirt somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Narrowed it down to three. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one. Antonio, what do you got? Tony McGuire. Toby Maguire is correct, and Ryan. Toby Maguire. That's correct. I, I should have started with Ryan on that question, but it's okay. It is nine to eight as we head into our final question for the perfect round for Ryan and for nine big points for Antonio. In the category of actors and actresses, what MCU film features performances from Paul Rudd, Daniel Brühl, and John Canny? Canny spelled K A N I. Tommy. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to go to Antonio again. What do you got? Civil War? That is correct, and Ryan, for the perfect round. I do like Captain America Civil War. <laughs> that is correct for a rookie perfect round, 10 out of 10. Uh, pretty big uh, first round for Ryan here in the MCU. All right, you're getting a bonus question. You do not have to write this down since you're the only one answering it. I'll okay. give you a few seconds. All right. Of these five characters, which role has not been recast in the MCU? Howard Stark... Red Skull, Thanos, Doc Samson, and Fandral. I'm going to go with Doc Samson. Ty Burrell's character from The Incredible Hulk, Doc Samson, is correct for another point, bringing his perfect round to an even more perfect round of 11 to Antonio's 9, but it is still such a close match as we head into the epic wheel round. How the wheel round will work, uh, the players will each spin at the wheel, and you are allowed one respin if you'd like, and whatever the wheel lands on on a, spin, on a respin, you will have to take. Uh, I am Iron Man is spinner's choice. I am inevitable is opponent's choice. Uh, there will be five questions. You will have 15 seconds to speak the answer aloud. Uh, if you want to check down the multiple choice, it will not be worth two points, but one point. And you can steal if an answer is incorrect. Uh, you all have your time heist. You all have your challenges. You all have been keeping your hands on screen, so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to pull up the wheel. So y'all can see it, and I'll read you the categories first before Ryan decides if he would like to spin first or second. So your categories, you have Phase 1 and 2, Phase 3, Phase 4. We have Disney+, Plus, Actors and Actresses, Scores and Soundtracks, Aliens, Androids, and Wizards, and Quotes. And then, of course, I am Inevitable, and I am Iron Man. So, Ryan, would you like to spin first or spin second? I'll be honest. Any one of these can go my way or Antonio, so I'm just going to dive straight on it. I'm going to go first. All right. Hope to extend that lead by going first and the category. Disney Plus. Oh, <laughs> actors and actresses. We were close. Um, uh, so, Ryan, would you like to keep actors and actresses or would you like to spin again? I mean, you know what the hell? I mean, this is my first match. I mean, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it. I'm going to take it. All right. He's going to take actors and actresses as I pull up the dock here. So these are going to be worth two points a piece, unless you would like to check down a multiple choice. And Antonio, get ready. If he should miss, you can steal. All right. Question one. Ty Simpkins appears as a young boy named Harley in which MCU film? This is another character I kind of hope would be in Armor Wars. That would be Iron Man 3. That is correct for two points. And we move on to question two. How many MCU films... Feature Andy Serkis as Ulysses Claw. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to say two. You would be correct. Going for it was the correct uh, answer. It is two uh, for two points. And you take your lead from 15, uh, 15 to 7 is the current score. All right. Who plays Sharon Carter? in the Captain America films and the spin-off series Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, it's a three it's a three person three letter it's three name. Um uh Emily Von Camp. That is correct for two <laughs> points. Nicely done. Nice. Revenge. 
<laughs> yes. And, I was, and also from the ABC series, Brothers and Sisters. <laughs> all right. Question four. Jolt, the Golden Retriever, plays what role in the holiday-themed miniseries, Hawkeye? I think I'm thinking too much. I believe he's Lucky, the one-eyed dog? Lucky is the answer we were looking for. That is correct. Jolt is an actor. He's playing Lucky, so it counts. Yeah, I was always uh, thinking uh, that. <laughs> and uh, we're moving on to question question five. Tom Hiddleston, Mick Wingert, and Kurt Russell appear in what Disney Plus MCU series? Oh, uh, it's What If. For a perfect wheel round, that is correct for two big points. Mick Wingert, the voice of Iron Man. Uh, and that is correct. You take your lead now to 21 to 9. Uh, still not out of the realm of possibility considering how strong Antonio has also been in round one. Uh, but that is a huge wheel round for Ryan in his debut match. So, Antonio, we're going to spin the wheel for you now for your wheel spin. Ooh. Okay. And you just escaped oh, no. <laughs> inevitability. You got lucky there. You got phase three. Would you like to keep phase three or attempt fate and spin it again? You know what? Yeah, I'll keep it. I don't want to tempt right. fate. Cool. Uh, so Ryan is going to keep that phase three slice. All right. Or sorry, Antonio is going to keep the phase three slice. Um, all right, Antonio. Here are your questions in phase three. Question one. What year saw the release of Black Panther... Avengers Infinity War, and Ant-Man and the Wasp. It's 2018. That would be correct for two big points. Moving on to question two. What is the name of the Celestial, the living planet, who is Peter Quill's father in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? Ego. Is also correct. Sometimes the order of these questions just turns out to be convenient. <laughs> question three. After getting a blood transfusion on Hala, the capital planet of the Kree Empire, what color is Carol Danvers' blood? Blue. That is correct for two points. And question four. In Thor Ragnarok, who gives Thor a haircut before his fight with Hulk on Sakaar? Stanley. <laughs> that is correct for two points. And the final question here in phase three for another perfect wheel round. After getting it on Xandar, which Infinity Stone does Thanos start with in Avengers Infinity War? The Power Stone. For two big points and another perfect wheel round. That is correct. Um... Wow, a perfect wheel round. That's the first time two people have gotten a perfect wheel round in the same uh, match, which is pretty epic. Uh, but Ryan currently still has his two-point lead from that perfect round one, so it is 21 to 19, uh, shaping up to be probably the match, of the, the match of the season. But let's move on to round three and see how this match shapes up. Players will choose three numbers at random out of 15, which will correlate to three predetermined categories, which you will not know until I reveal them. First question will be worth two points, which is mild difficulty. The second question will be worth three points, which is a medium difficulty. And the third question will be worth five points, which is a hard difficulty. The player with the most points at the end will win, unless it is tied, which is a very likely possibility. Uh, then a sudden death show, showdown can occur. Again, you have three time ice, one challenge. So, Ryan, you are, um, you are in the lead, so you get to pick your three numbers from one to 15. What would you like? Oh. Man, I wish I did not misplace my twenty dot my my D twenty. I could have rolled for it. Um, I'll just go a seven, mm -hmm. fifteen, yep, and two. Seven, fifteen, and two. All right, and Antonio, what would you like your uh, numbers to be? Yankee. Um, <laughs> I'll take four. Four. Okay. Eight. Eight. All right. And twelve. Four, eight, and twelve. All right, cool. So we're going to start with Antonio for his two pointer in category four, which is uh, Captain America movies. Captain America movies. Here we go. Your two pointer. 
In which Captain America film will you find the characters of Sharon Carter, Dr. Zola, and Pietro Maximoff? Captain America, Winter Soldier. That is correct. Pietro and Wanda are in the post credits of that. That is correct for two points as we tie it up and send it back to Ryan, who will have to hit his two pointer in quotes. Category seven, which is quotes. Hmm. All right, Ryan, your question. Which character says the line, I am queen of the most powerful nation in the world, and my entire family is gone? Have I not given everything? That is uh, Ramada played by Angela Bassett. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Did you say Ramada? Is that what you said? Yeah, that's not her it's, name? It's Ramonda with an N, unfortunately. So, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, we have to rule that as incorrect. Unless oh, you got to be kidding me. Um, I, I know you know the answer, but technically Ramada and Ramonda are two separate uh, answers. So unfortunately, <sighs> we're going to stick with you as we, hit, as we go to your three-pointer. It's still tied. Uh, your category 15 in the category of Thor. Thor. Okay. Right. <clears throat> what is Darcy Lewis's major in Thor? She, signed? she only signed with Jane to take credit. Uh... Four, three, I'll use a time heist. All right, that's your first time heist. What is Darcy Lewis's major in Thor? I'm juggling between two. I'm, no, oh, damn it. I'm going to say art. Is incorrect. We're looking for Political science. Political, <laughs> Political science. Not close. I wasn't okay. even close. <laughs> okay. Uh, but you still have your five-pointer to throw it back to Antonio, um, which is going to be in uh, question two, which is Spider-Man movies. Spider-Man movies. Okay. All right. In what country does Peter and his friends first start their field trip in, in Spider-Man Far From Home? Okay. After they land, so not. I, no, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. It's just I'm clear enough. Which European country? Yep. Oh, I'll do a time ice again. Yep. Oh. All right. Good question in Spider-Man: In what European country does Peter and his friends first start their field trip in in Spider-Man: Far From Home? I'm uh, wow! I'm just gonna say Italy. That is correct for five points. So you're throwing it back to Antonio. Hits that clutch five to bring so your total much. up to twenty six to twenty one. So Antonio is down by five, but he still has his three and his five to hit if he would like to um, beat Ryan here. So we're gonna go to your three pointer, Antonio, in uh, category eight, which is Iron Man movies. Iron Man movies. When judging a contest in Iron Man 3, what number score does Stan Lee give on his scorecard? It can be that simple. A 9? That is incorrect we're looking for a 10 he gives it a perfect 10 he gives it a that 10 did feel a little, that felt too <laughs> obvious <laughs> that's why it's a three-pointer because it's a little obvious but it's a little not uh so that is gonna bring you to a five-pointer so here's the deal antonio if you hit this we go into sudden death if you miss this ryan wins it's been back and forth in round three after a very close match the whole time your category is category 12 in the realm of phase four phase four all right here we go 
In Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, it is revealed that Stephen Strange had a sister. What was her first name? Fuck. <laughs> Five, four, three. Time heist. Time heist. All right, that's your first one. You still have two left. In Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, it is revealed that Steven, Stephen Strange had a sister. What was her first name? Just a guess. Rebecca? And your winner! Devil May Cry, Ryan Payne. I have to say, uh, the answer is Donna. Donna Strange was her name. Donna. Donna. I, I got to say, win or lose, this was probably the most impressive showing for any rookie ever, even the ones who've gone on to become champions in this league, like when they started. Like, this is, I mean, first off, a perfect round one for Ryan, perfect round twos for both of you, and then literally it coming down to a five pointer for Antonio. Uh, you know, Ryan missing that Queen Ramonda question, but then bouncing back with his strong five for Italy. Um, this really was such an amazing match. I want to say first, congrats, Ryan. How do you feel after your big win here? Um, how are you feeling? There's almost every bone in my body wanted to pull that Milner out for the Ramonda for the Ramona, Ramonda question. But then I'm going to myself, if you look it up online, then yeah, you, it would probably go out that way. I was going on the phonetic pronunciation of her name throughout that and throughout the movie. Like, mm -hmm. Especially whenever, especially when she, oh, they call her the Queen Mother, but every time she's been spoken, I've always heard Ramonda, Ramonda, you know. Mm -hmm. So why? So I'm thinking, oh, Ramada. So I went off phonetic instead of thinking, yeah. oh, the way it's spelled. Yeah. Otherwise, I know Antonio's dangerous. We've gone back and forth in so many different divisions. So I just knew that I needed to at least push him to a, to, to, to a question or we're going to go into sudden death. Like I even joked earlier on. This wasn't going to be an easy match. You're either going to get overtime or double overtime between the two of us. Yeah. Yeah. And if you miss that five to Italy, it's still sudden death. So, like, you know, it, it, it really is such such a close match back and forth. But, um, Antonio, I'm going to throw it over to you now. How do you feel, despite a loss? I mean, this is still a heck of a first showing, and you're definitely the scariest 0-1 one, one competitor out there for sure. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel after this? It's it's weird. It's like I, I never felt this energized after a loss. I mean, because – well, also because – I mean, if Ryan just picked up, you know, if he just said her name right, it'd be over. And I, I honestly thought it was over anyway because I was like, I was going to curse out rabbits for that, for winning that one question about one of them. But otherwise, I feel really good. Again, man, I can't get over how I love how quick it is. The format's so simple. The little names, time heist, you know, it's all amazing. And so I can't wait to be back. Ryan, I mean, me and Ryan always had this thing where it could be either of us on any given night. And, but I just can't wait to be back, and especially with any Marvel or any other sort of thing like Star Wars. But yeah, man, this is great. Uh, Ryan definitely earned it, and uh, I'm just always gonna be like, it's just gonna be pushing me to like learn, rewatch all these movies again, man, right? Like, once. Yeah, so, and yeah, it's serious, and, and it pushes us too. Every every new movie that comes out, um, you we wait if it's been on Disney month, Disney Plus for a full month, it then counts for the league. So that's how it'll yeah. work. So for next month. Quantumania is in there and so on and so forth. But right. yeah, I mean, the league will keep growing and we love having great competitors joining and, and helping yeah. grow the lead. Um, do you have anyone in mind, Antonio, that you might have your eyes on for a future match? Someone who's maybe competed in Marvel trivia or not, just anyone out there who you think? Uh, I'm not sure who's in, who's in your league, but I'm sure it's people that I've come across. But uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know, uh, just pretty much anyone who's out there, <laughs> you know? I mean, the funny thing is me and Ryan have like a long standing like, I don't know what our record is, like four or four against each other, or maybe he's one up now, but otherwise... I don't know like, either. It's yeah. like, it's <laughs> like, like I played the most with you and with Robert Kastner. Right. So like, <laughs> if Robert's in here, I'd love to play Robert, but like, we also don't like playing against each other, but with this, it's a new like league, it's kind of yeah. fresh, so like, for us at least, so it'd be yeah. definitely fun. Uh, but yeah. otherwise, anyone who's out there, I would love to get back in this as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah, of course. And Ryan, do you have any sights set on anyone in particular for the league? Um... 
Uh, I mean, I've only seen a couple of matches off of this league, so I can't name any competitors specifically. I just know that in the in your group, in the Facebook group, there was one person we were like joking between to have ourselves a bit of a rubber match. I don't know if she's had her debut match here yet, but I, I am don't def- believe. No, I, I know she's in the Facebook chat. Her name is Cena. We played each other before in MCU Trivia, and she did beat me. So Ooh. I know if she ever does get the opportunity to play, I would. and if she gets that win, I would love to play against her. You know, see once again who's the better MCU competitor between the two of us. That is if she's interested. If not, I, the door is open for anyone right. else. <laughs> love that. Well, I'm very excited that you both want to keep competing and want to compete again. And obviously, despite the loss and even with the win, I mean, you two are deadly competitors. And, and this was a huge get for us to get you both interested in this. So uh, we're very excited to have you on board and we're excited for the next one. So everyone else, stay tuned. There's still one more match coming right after this. Uh, but you pretty much got your meals worth right now. Uh, the extra match is just desserts now at this point. But uh, thank you all for watching. and We'll see you in just And now a quick word from our reigning champ. Now it's now it's stronger. It's action, obviously, but action. Okay. It has light better. No, way better. Okay, great. Action. <laughs> Girl, you are not the director. I'm behind the lens right now. Yeah, but you can be the camera okay. woman. I'm the just director. be quiet for like two seconds. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> no, cut. don't cut it. Cut Keep it rolling. Okay. I'm going to. Okay. <laughs> Okay. You look right. fabulous with the martini and action. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Oh, right, you guys are doing the match today. See, I'm over here calm, cool, and collected. But, you know, good luck to whatever's going on over here. I'm just gonna be sipping my dirty gin martinis, not worrying a bit. So, I'll see one of you on the other side. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second match of this double header. We just finished a really exciting rookie match. I'm in a new location now. I got glasses and a different change of outfit, and I'm joined by a co-host this time. The last match Me? I played solo. Now I'm with Zach. Hello, Zach. Uh, last time we saw you, uh, you were playing against JD, and now you're here co-hosting, oh, so you don't have right. to worry about any sort of competition today. All you have to worry about is asking questions and watching this stellar match we have set ahead of us. Uh, are you excited for this match? How are you feeling? You, listen, I'm always excited to be here. It's 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 far more exciting to be in the co-host chair because, uh, like you said, I don't got to worry about anything. I didn't have to study. I didn't have to, you know, I didn't have to, to worry about uh, uh, uh Stamping another mark on my uh, on my ledger, so to speak, um, and I'm very excited. You know, Noah. The last time we saw Noah here, um, it was under uh, unfortunate circumstances. Great to see him in the title match. Sad to see him not feeling so well, and maybe you know, just a couple of a couple of punches were were pulled back a little bit rather than you know getting Kelsey kind of square in. Um, and then, of course, who knows what to expect from our heel, uh, Miss uh, the Dark Phoenix herself. Um, so I'm hoping that we, uh, I'm hoping we see some fire today. I'm sure I won't, uh, I'm sure I won't be disappointed, uh, but it's always exciting to be yeah. here with you, Dylan. Yeah. Yeah. I always feel like a Stacy match. I'm, I feel like I'm going to like a comedy central roast where I know I'm going to get some heat thrown on me for no apparent reason, or maybe it'll be a warranted reason who knows. Um, but it's always fun to see, of course, a heel and face match, especially like you said, yeah, last match, Noah was not feeling too well. He was under the weather, but he still played really well. It just Kelsey played better. Um, so I'm excited to see him now fully healthy, um, with some time off to study or just kind of chill and let it all kind of soak and marinate. Uh, and then Stacy, who has been playing so much recently, she played literally two matches in one sitting and won them both to get here to now face off against Noah. The winner will play Kelsey for the belt. So we're either going to see a rematch, a rematch of the last belt match, or we're going to see the first girl on girl belt match. So either way, there's going to be a very exciting outcome, um, which is very exciting. I just but, was trying to make a joke. Nothing. It's bad. Oh, we're on Marvelous you, Movie Mondays. Yeah, yeah. Were, were you, were you past it. Okay, okay. Past it. No, I was gonna say, past were you going to call you and JD it. girls? This isn't, uh, this isn't Quantum Mania. Yeah, this isn't Quantum Mania. We're, we're good comedy only here. Only good stuff. Right. No bad right. stuff. And and to reiterate, like I said last match, Quantum Mania is not part of this MCU League until next month because it needs to be on Disney Plus for a month. So the most recent thing here is Wakanda Forever. Um, but these competitors are forever. So let's introduce them. Introducing 
first with a record of four wins and one defeat we have the dark phoenix stacy stacy how are you doing are you excited to uh play another match here i mean i don't know if excited is the right word but i'm ready to be done with this so let's do it yep cool and you say you want to be done with this but but keep in mind if you do win you will have to play next month so um i don't know if you can fully be done with this unless you fully retire but i don't see that path happening either because you've been uh, on a roll um how have you been prepping for this match since the last time you played have you been prepping for this match well i think i've said this before dylan and i will probably say it again but what i'm doing to prep is none of your fucking business yep, sounds i can't right. say that usually i put in about a three effort to prep and i put in about a six because i respect noah's skills i'll say that cool all right well i'm very uh, excited to see how you play today uh and see if that studying or the three to six pays off um and introducing her opponent with a record of three wins one defeat and two knockouts it is pelvic sorcery noah mccausland noah how is it going sir good to see you it's back. going pretty good i'm feeling way better than i did last time yeah. so i'm believe, here to rock I and roll the last match you were you were playing oh my god bed, right you were bedridden for the last match am i correct? yeah i was yeah, so, so now I you're was. back you're, you're back no, and you're noah. sitting upright no it's yeah. good to see you how um it's been it's been a couple months it's been almost half a year i think since the last yeah. uh since the last title match when we saw you um tell us what what have you been doing to prep what have you uh have you been you know on a on a binge marathon of all the movies have you just been kind of like taking whatever is up there and just fine-tuning it what what's your strategy going into today without telling the dark phoenix too much well the only thing that i've really been doing is uh, kind of rewatching some of those Disney Plus shows because those are can get a bit tricky for a lot of people, and uh, I like to make people's weaknesses my strength. So, Ooh, um, love that. yeah. What happens when they have no weakness? Oh, uh, I always find one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. there we go. We we're shall already, see. We're already getting some smack talk underway, so I'll just ask before we get into the rules. Noah, are you ready to proceed? I'm ready to go. All right. And Stacy, the Dark Phoenix, how you feeling? Are you ready? Yeah. All right, cool. Can I I'm, can I can I can I say it? Can I say it? Sure, Zach. Let the marvelous movie match begin. Is that it? Yes, can I say it right? It. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna start with the rules of round one. The players will be asked ten questions in the realm of the MCU. Have about fifteen seconds to write down your answer. Players will then reveal their written answers and speak them aloud. Each question's a point. If you get all ten right, there will be a bonus. If you get that right, you'll get a perfect eleven for eleven, which we did see last match with two rookies. One of them did get a perfect wow. eleven. Players must keep their mat uh, their hands on screen at all times, and you will have three time heists and one mule near per game, not per round, but per game. Um, if you want to hear the question again, you can ask for a time heist. And if you want to challenge a ruling or a question or any of the above, you will be able to throw a mule near into the ring. Uh, so let's get this started with question one. I will start with question one in the realm of actors and actresses. Here we go. The late great Ray Stevenson plays which character in the four Thor films? Obviously, this, is, this we, is a bit of a it's a bit of a tough number one, yeah. Dylan. A little little bit of a toughie. Uh, sometimes current events mean that we sometimes spotlight certain people or uh, certain questions, and unfortunately, we did lose this person this week. So uh, rest in peace. Dylan, uh, Park goes out to the Stacey, fans. Stacy was asking. Stacy was asking for a repeat. Oh no, I wasn't. Oh oh, I thought you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I just I just wrote it down so fast. You thought that I didn't write it down at all. I guess I don't know. What That's what it is. is. I didn't say anything. Two, one Noah, what do you got? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the other guy I'm thinking about, but I put Volstag. No, you are correct. It is Volstag. Oh, wow. And okay. Stacy, what do you got? Volstag. That is correct. Of course, rest in peace. One more time to Ray Stevenson. Uh, gone way too soon. Zach, take it away with question two. All right, question two is in the category of phase one. In Captain America, the first Avenger, in which country does Red Skull find the Tesseract? Great movie. I just rewatched this with uh, with some of my uh, introductory to theater students. Oh. They uh, didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't care about it. Because this is kind of a multiple choice. You got like 200 options, you know what I mean? So it's narrowed. Yeah, down. It's, you, got a, you got a one in 200. <laughs> Four. Three, two, one, pens down. Stacey. All right. Austria? 
That is, that is incorrect. Uh, I went with Poland. That's Ooh, correct. So, that so is close. Also yeah, well. incorrect. No, we're looking for Norway. Norway. Uh, Norway. So no perfect rounds here today. Yep. Uh, as we move on to question three in the category of phase two. In Captain America, the Winter Soldier, when hiding Nick Fury's USB drive in a vending machine, what candy does Steve Rogers hide it behind? I almost said Chris Evans. That would also be correct. It's but, the same. Yeah, but I almost said just watch. Candy does just watch Chris this Evans one do. too in one of my classes. They didn't care either. To say, did you just watch the whole trilogy? Is that how it went? Well, almost. Four, three, two. One Noah, what do you got here? Bubble gum. That is correct. And Stacy. Um, Great point. I don't even think of that as candy. It's a Snickers. Well, it's not right. a Snickers, but I wrote Snickers because that was the first thing I thought. It is of. not a Snickers. So Noah will take a one point lead there. It is bubble gum or gum, whatever gum you decided to write. Uh, question four, Zach, take it away. All right. Question four in the category of Phase Three in Thor Ragnarok. Korg compares Thor to a previous contender who died in the Grandmaster's arena. What was his name? Just looking for one first name. We don't need a full name. I don't even know if we get a full name, honestly. You don't get the last uh, name in the movie. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Stacy, uh, a, a famously a big, for, big Thor fan here right. on uh, MCU Trivia. But does she know the trivia for Thor? We'll find out. Five? Four, I would guess. Three, we'll see. Two, one. Let's go to Stacy. Stacy. That would be Doug. That it be certainly Doug. is Doug. Mm. Noah? Uh, wrong name. I put Greg. That's okay. You got the four letters. Uh, it is a four Doug, letter name. Greg. A G in, in the right spot. A G. But it is not Greg. It is Doug. So now it's tied up again as we head into question five in the realm of phase four. Phase four. Kate Shortland directed which MCU phase four film? Little director question here. You a fan of this film, Zach? I am, Dill. I really am. I know I'm not. Well, uh, I shouldn't say really? too much. Really? Yeah, keep it at that. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Noah, what do you got? If I have the right movie, it's a eh, Black Widow. It is okay. correct. And Stacy. Black Widow. Keeps it's high fine, as go guys. Into, it's good. So going to question it's six. Good. Zach, take it away. All right. Question six in the category of the Avengers. Which of the following characters does not attend the final battle in Avengers Endgame? Shuri, Valkyrie, Maria Hill, or Howard the Duck? A little multiple choice in round one. Kind of testing the waters there. It's we always love, fun. We love a ones. one in a one in four chance is pretty good. It's always it's like a nice. It could be a freebie. Could be a trick question. Who knows? Right. Yeah, I mean four four names that are definitely not at the forefront when it comes to this battle, but three of them are there. One of them is not. Five, four, three. <sighs> repeat, repeat, two, repeat. All right. That's All right. Nice, time heist. So again, in question number six in the category of the Avengers. Which of the following characters does not attend the final battle in Avengers Endgame? Shuri, Valkyrie, Maria Hill, or Howard the Duck? Five, four, three, two, one. Stacy, what do you got? Maria Hill. That is correct. That and is Noah. correct. Maria Hill. Yep, that repeat Howard. paid off. Howard the Duck does indeed show up, and we're happy about it. Yeah, he, we're very happy, and he seemingly Howard survived. Howard the Duck fan <laughs> in category he seven, did. which or question seven, which is a category of villains. Villains in Black Panther, Killmonger steals vibranium and what other object from the museum when disguised as a paramedic? Which is a little bit of a crossover from the last match, if anyone was listening. Because we asked what they were disguised as, and the answer was paramedic. Now we're asking what he stole. Pretty fun marriage there. I haven't watched the last match yet. None of you have. It was filmed in the past. Five? What was that? How specific? Not not specific. It could be general. Four, three, two, one. It would be impressive if you had it specific. But uh, Noah, what are you going to tell us today? A tribal mask. That is correct. And Stacy. 
a tribal mask. There you go. That's crazy that you were both that specific. Yeah, we, we just were looking masks. for masks. <laughs> but but we'll take it. We'll take tribal mask because it is in fact a tribal mask. As we move on to question eight, Zach, take it away. Question eight, one of my favorite categories. Quotes. Fill in the blank for this Maria Rambo quote in Captain Marvel. Call me blank again. I'll shove my foot up somewhere it's not supposed to be. That's a good quote. <laughs> Great quote. Good to see Maria Rambo not just in a in a one off uh, in Captain Marvel. Loved uh, loved having her back for a little bit, even though uh, wasn't pretty, wasn't great for her. Yeah. And five, four, three, two, one. Stacy, what do you got? Young lady. That is correct. I know. Uh, right. What do you say? It's a synonym for young lady. I put girl. Oh, that is incorrect. You're close. Uh, so Stacy now taking a one point lead over Noah as we get to our ninth question in the realm of Spider Man. Spider Man. What is Electro? Good old Spider Man. <laughs> what is Electro surprised to learn about Andrew Garfield's Peter Three at the end of Spider Man No Way Home? I like this moment, Zach. I love this moment till we were in the theater to watch it together. We were. Lots of laughs, lots of laughs, and uh, and 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 tears during that one. Lots yeah. of laughs and tears, and in this case, not specifically this moment. Five, four, Boo. three, maybe two, one. Noah, what do you got? Uh, I feel really hesitant about sharing this. Uh, he's not black. <laughs> that is correct, <laughs> Stacy. Yeah. Well, I said it the other way. I said that he's white. We were to tr- either either answer. Yes, uh, in the in I the think- words of Tom Hanks and Elvis. He's white is correct, um, or he's not black. Uh, moving on to the. I think I saw. I think I saw Stacy crack a smile, but we'll find out, I guess, later. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at that. Question. Sure. Question ten in the category of Disney Plus, who plays Ralph Boner in Wandavision? Hmm. I had I can't no really problems say anything with this. About, yeah, I was gonna say. Had no say problems else. with this. That's it. Had no problems. Yeah. Eh, you know, some people have problems with their boners. It's okay. We don't judge. Okay. And... Are we a family-friendly show or not? <laughs> no. I mean, you see who's competing down here? Are we family That's friendly? That's fair. Five, four, Fuck families. three, two, no. <laughs> one. Pens down. Stacy. Evan Peters. That is correct. That's and correct. Bit old goose egg. That's okay. Uh, so Stacy is going to take a two-point lead now at the end of round one at a score of eight to six. Couldn't be much closer than that. That is a uh, very impressive round one for both competitors as we head into round two. Round two is going to be the wheel round. Each player will spin the wheel to determine a category. You're allowed to respin, but if you respin, you must take whatever it lands on. Uh, I am Iron Man, spinner's choice. I am inevitable as opponent's choice. There will be five questions. Players will have about 15 seconds to speak that answer aloud. Questions are worth two points. Competitor would like to check down the multiple choice. Those are worth one point. Uh, Noah, you have two time heists left, and Stacy has all three. And again, there is stealing in this round if it comes down to it. So let me share the screen as we get the wheel, and Stacy will have um, the preference if she would like to spin first or spin second. I am going to spin second. All right, so here's Noah's first spin here. It's going to be for Noah. <clears throat> and we've got androids aliens and wizards noah would you like to keep aliens androids and wizards or spin again could i hear the available options yep. on the you have phase phase one two three and four which is new releases you have villains disney plus uh who said it which is also quotes uh and then scores and soundtracks oh, what i'm sorry what category did i spin this time uh aliens androids and wizards I'll go ahead and spin it again. All right, so a respin for Noah. He's going to tempt fate here. I forgot to change who said it to quotes on this doc. Uh, That's okay. Actors and actresses. Actors and actresses is going to be Noah's category here. Zach, would you like to ask the actors and actresses questions, or would you like me to? You know what, Dylan? I feel like actors and actresses is your thing. So I'm going to let you ask. Uh, and I think maybe if I ask Stacy her questions, she'll be less inclined to kill me than she would over you. I like that reasoning. Uh, but I did put them in the doc just so you can follow along, Zach, if you'd like. Great. All right, here we go. Question one, uh, Noah, in the realm of actors and actresses. 
Iman Vellani portrays what breakout Phase 4 MCU character? Kamala Khan. That is correct for two points, tying up the game as we head into question two. Which MCU film features performances from Marissa Tomei, John Slattery, and Martin Freeman? Captain America Civil War. That is correct for two points. Took some time to think about it. It paid off. Question three. Which phase three film marks the final MCU appearance of Stan Lee in a cameo role? And five, four, three. Multiple choice. All right, multiple choice. Is it A, Avengers Infinity War, B, Captain Marvel, C, Avengers Endgame, or D, Spider-Man Far From Home? Five, four. Spider-Man Far From Home. That is incorrect, so we're going to go to Stacey for the steal. I'm going to read the whole question with the answers. Of course you are. Which Phase 3 film marks the final MCU appearance of Stan Lee in a cameo role? Is it A, Avengers Infinity War, B, Captain Marvel, C, Avengers Endgame, or D, Spider-Man Far From Home? It's C, Avengers Endgame. That is correct for a one-point no hesitancy. narrowing the gap to one point as we have two questions left in Noah's Actors and Actresses round. Question four. Who plays... Titania, the main antagonist of She-Hulk, attorney at law. Jamila Jamil? I think that's that is correct it. for two points. Uh, big poll there uh, as he goes up now three points to Stacey as we get one last question here. In how many Phase four projects does Benedict Wong appear as Wong? I'll give you a little extra time to think about this one. I'll give you 20 seconds. Three. That is incorrect. We're going to ah. ask Stacy now for the steal. In how many phase four projects does Benedict Wong appear as Wong? Four. That is also incorrect. We were looking for five. Those five oh, really? Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, What If, and Spider-Man No Way Home. So it's forgot about What If. Five. That's okay. And um, Everyone always does. We're now going to go <laughs> to Stacy's wheel. Uh, Noah, an impressive uh, wheel round there going up 12 to 9 as we have Stacy's first spin right here. And it looks like we're going to have to do an automatic respin because that is actors and actresses, which Noah just spun. So here's your free respin. And then you will have a choice if you want to respin it again. Actually, you will not have a choice because it is I am inevitable, which means uh, Noah will get to choose the category that he's going to give Stacy. Now, famously, he did give Kelsey her strength in quotes in the last match. Is he going to give Stacy a strength here or is he going to give her a weakness? We'll find out. Noah, what are you going to uh, give Stacy? Probably. Um, I hate doing this. <laughs> I'll go with scores and soundtracks. Scores and soundtracks. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put this in the dock for you, Zach. All right, awesome. there we go. Um, so, Stacy, you're going to get five questions in the realm of scores and soundtracks. Are you ready? Yep. All right, Zach, take it away. All right, Stacey. Uh, question number one. What Runaways song is heard during Guardians of the Galaxy when the Guardians are discussing their plans with Yondu to defeat Ronan the Accuser? Cherry bomb. That, that is, is correct. correct. Two points, and she's within Great one pull. of them. All right, Stacy. Question number two: Which MCU villain is heard singing "What Is Love, Baby Don't Hurt Me" 
while being held for questioning and interrogation. Eric Killmonger? That is incorrect. So Noah, I'm going to give you a full uh, repeat of the question along with no, uh, no answers. No answers. Uh, which MCU villain is heard singing what is love, baby don't hurt me, while being held for questioning and interrogation? Ulysses Claw. That is correct for two a two-point point steal. Yep, taking a three-point lead. All right, Stacey, back to you. Uh, question number three. Which Phase 4 MCU film features the song No Woman, No Cry, which can also be heard in the film's trailer. Wakanda Forever. That is correct. correct. Two points. Heading into question four. Which MCU films features this... Oh, sorry. Which MCU film features the songs Come As You Are by Nirvana, Waterfalls by TLC, and What a Man by Salt and Peppa? Captain Marvel. That is correct. That's correct. Two points. She takes a one point lead. And then last question. Question number five. Who composed the score for in- Avengers Infinity War? Alan Silvestri. Another strong That two is points. correct. Yeah, so she gives up a steal to Noah for two points, but then she hits all the other ones, which takes her score to 17 to Noah's 14. It is a three-point game as we head into the final round. The round three, which will decide the match unless we go to sudden death. Players will choose three numbers out of at random out of 15, which will correlate to three predetermined categories. First question will be worth two points, which is mild difficulty. Second question, three points, which is medium. And third question will be worth five points, which is hard. Player with the most points at the end will win unless it's tied then a sudden death showdown will occur so stacy you're in the lead which three uh questions or three numbers would you like six nine eleven six nine and eleven nice uh and noah two four and twelve two four and twelve also nice all right so first noah you uh are gonna go first and i believe uh i gave noah the question so i'll give noah the questions again here uh, starting with category two, which correlates to Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy, Noah. Which of the original five Guardians of the Galaxy survives Thanos' snap in Avengers Infinity War? Rocket Raccoon. That is correct for two points. And uh, we're going to stick with Noah. He has to hit his three to go back to Stacy. Category four, which correlates to phase one. Phase one. All right. Phase one. In the Avengers, how long does Nick Fury say it will take the nuke to reach New York? <sighs> Five, four. Ten minutes. That is incorrect. We were looking for three minutes. Three minutes. So very, very close. So actually, Noah, we're going to stick with you now. Uh, you're going to be able to hit your five to send it back to Stacy, or Stacy will win via TKO. Your category, Noah, question 12, correlates to villains. Villains. Here we go. What is the name? of the powerful weapon capable of killing gods used by Gore the God Butcher in Thor, Love, and Thunder. Oh, my God. Five, four, three... Repeat. Repeat? All right, that's your second repeat. You still have one left. In the category of villains, what is the name of the powerful... That's actually his third repeat. He used one in round one. At the start of round two, you even said so. Yeah, but this is my second one. I have two more. His one. Oh, I thought you just used one. Sorry. That's That's what I get for not Um... really caring what's going on when it's not me. (laughs) All right, question in villains. 
What is the name of the powerful weapon capable of killing gods used by Gore the God Butcher in Thor, Love, and Thunder? Five. The Necro Sword? For five Ooh. points! That is correct, Noah! Oh my god. Noah takes the lead from twenty to twenty-one to seventeen, meaning that Stacy will have to answer some questions. Stacy does not get the TKO this time. Noah keeps it alive as we go now to Stacy to answer her two-pointer, and then she will also have to answer another question in order to win. So, uh, Stacy, you spun or you selected category six, which is uh, Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Uh, Zach, I'm going to pepper these in there. All right. Uh, whenever you're ready, Zach. Okay. Category of Disney Plus, Stacey, your two-point question. In what series will you find a character named Madison saying she made a deal with a talking goat? Um, she Hulk, attorney at law. That is correct. correct. Two points. So now uh, Stacey's down by two. So if she hits her three, the game is over. If she misses the three, she'll still have her five-pointer that she can answer. So this doesn't really matter, but it always helps. Uh, so uh, category nine, which correlates to Thor. Thor. Zach? Stacey, your three-point question in the category of Thor. What is the name of the powerful weapon used by the Grandmaster to execute whoever committed a capital offense on Sakaar? The melting stick. And your winner and the number one contender, Stacy the Dark Phoenix. That is correct. We're looking for melt stick or melting stick. Either one uh, would be acceptable. So Stacy will inch it out at a 22 to 21 victory against noah congratulations stacy dark phoenix how are you feeling after uh this win uh, and winning it on a thor question uh how do you feel um i feel like now i have to do some more work but you guys need a bunch of little boys to do a woman's job so finally a woman will step in to do it <laughs> Okay, um, I'll get back to you in just a sec. Uh, Noah, it's that fair. was a very valiant effort, and obviously that five-point Necro Sword pull was very, very impressive. Uh, and you really just had a solid game. You took a huge steal from Stacy in round two with Ulysses Claw. Um, you were hanging in there round one. You had the lead. She took the lead, but it was a very, very close match. How do you feel avoiding that TKO and getting uh, a loss but a strong losing defeat? Um, I, I don't think I'm at my best. I didn't study as much as I should have. Um, and I was slacking throughout this attire when I knew this match was being ready. So um, I just wasn't as prepared for it this time around. Well, I, I'll tell you, I, I didn't notice, and I, I thought this was a very valiant effort. So this is non-prepared, Noah. I'm very excited to see what uh, the studied Noah is. Now, Noah, we do have a free-for-all coming later this summer. Uh, since you won't, unfortunately, be the champion at that point, uh, are you interested in maybe throwing your hat in the ring for that, or are you just waiting to see if you can get another competitor? Because now your season's open. You can do whatever you please uh, now in the realm of MCU, or do you want to take some time? It's all totally up to you. You know, I'll take whatever comes my way. If it's a competitor, that's fine. If it's a free-for-all, I'll take that too. So I'm excited. Great. Um, and I do have to ask, since you will be now merely a spectator, but um, definitely one of our most lethal competitors, having now faced both Stacey and Kelsey, do you have a favorite in that match? Is there anyone you're you're thinking might take that? Or are you just excited to see how it goes now? Uh, I mean, I mean all the possible offense to Stacey here when I mean Kelsey. Um I mean, that's I the obvious fucking answer ass. anyway. So. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I'm she was just... Moron. She was just completely, completely ready to face me. Um, she knows what she's talking about. She knows everything. Um, she's a very, very good competitor, and there's no mistake why she's there at the top right now. So I, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it's going to be Kelsey. Whoa. So. Thank words you there. for the added incentive. I was going to say, Stacey, now bouncing back to you. How she do you said feel thank about you for that? the added incentive. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel, about Stacey, hearing, hearing not only that you will be now competing against Kelsey for the title, but that Noah is fully in Kelsey's camp. I was saying for that point. I mean, I don't really give a fuck what camp Noah's in. That does not affect me at all. The 99.9% or whatever the hell he just said, that, that gives me a little bit of extra incentive. How I feel is this. 
Kelsey eats, sleeps, and breathes MCU for the fucking show. So if I feel like putting in more effort, can I put up a fight? Maybe I'll win. Sure. Am I going to put in that effort? I don't know. We'll see. Right. But We're going from a three to a six to maybe a nine. Happy to have with the few girls in the league that we have. I am very happy that it will be a girl on girl match. That's correct. Um, the, the belt will stay with a woman no matter what. Um, now, Stacy, this whole Dark Phoenix thing, you've really been, it's been adding a great fuel to your fire. Uh, is this how you want to keep going down the road, or do you think it's going to be more of a healthy competition next time, or is this Dark Phoenix here to stay? Um, you know, I don't know. Like, apparently, I'm still not getting any respect because Noah thought I was a fucking layup. So good on you. Um, so it might stick around. But we'll see. It might it might take a hiatus. I respect Kelsey. I I think she knows her shit. So I might uh I might put it away for the championship, but maybe not. All right. Well, I'm, I'm excited have to, to see. Watch and see. Yeah, Zach, do you have a favorite now? Now going uh, Stacy versus Kelsey. Uh, Don't do this. Whole, Why? I, I know your your whole goal has been to take Kelsey down. So do you want to see Stacy do it so you can get her in the normal <sighs> season? Do you want to see Kelsey keep it so you can get her at a belt match somewhere down the line? Uh, how are you feeling uh, with this this matchup coming up? Man, I don't know. Uh... So I'm 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 in the I'm in a similar camp to know where Kelsey knows what she's talking about. She like Stacy said, she eats, breathes, sleeps it. But state I mean Stacy has gone back to back to back with wins. Um I you know what? I, I hate to do this, Dill. I don't think I can back anyone right now because uh I, I think it's I, I will say and I do mean this with the honest sincerity and Stacy give respect where it's due. Um, it is a it is an even match. It is, there is not a shot doubt in my mind um, that y'all it won't be a match to miss. It will mm. it will literally be um, probably one if if I had to put if you're asking me to put money on something, it's that it will probably be one of the best matches we will ever have on this channel. Yeah. Well, and I'll tell you this: we've already had two of the best matches of the season in this very episode itself with Antonio and Ryan, and now again with Noah and Stacy. I just want to say thank you one more time to Noah for being such a valiant competitor, for coming back in the league. Five months hiatus, you're back, and I'm excited to see you go forward now too. And Stacy, commending you as as much as I feel the melting stick approaching me every time I talk to you, um, I, I do still uh, respect how how much of a tear you've been on. You've gotten three competitors out of the way, and now you face the big one. So, um, kudos to both of you for a well fought match. And uh, that's it for me. That's it for Zach. Uh, I'm excited to see uh, those matches. So thank you, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you next month for more MCU trivia. We'll see you next week. Kelsey will be back uh, from her Taylor Swift hiatus. <laughs> um, she will be back to um, to talk about Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse with me because we will be seeing it this week. So thank you, guys, so much for watching. We'll see you next time.